Hello and welcome to Ingenious, your PMS, Property Management System. I'm going to do a quick overview of our system and our features just so you can get an idea of what we have to offer. So I'm going to start over here. We have these tabs which are very important. This is going to be giving your front desk view, housekeeping view. We have a POS restaurant, admin, and support. Admin is going to be the place where you're going to do most of your work. Over here when you first start your POS, uh, when you first start your PMS, you're going to have actually two POS's. One is a gift shop and one is a restaurant. I go ahead and disable this one because I prefer using the POS touchscreen very user-friendly uh, POS, and I just prefer it over the POS gift shop. So you can disable the POS gift shop too if you find that you like the restaurant better. Anytime you re-enable or disable a feature, go ahead and just refresh your browser so you can see the changes. As you can see, it came right up here. So we have the calendar over here that you can scroll through change the date. Now this is telling me what I have for April 13th and on. I've got a dashboard 7-day view, 15-day view, 30-day view. This little doodad right here takes you to your booking engine. It's just a quick little tab for you to go to your booking engine. This dashboard is going to tell you all your arrivals and, and departures. If I want to just go back to default, I can scroll back through the calendar or I can just refresh and it's going to bring me back to today. My future reservations that haven't checked in yet are going to be in green. It's actually very easy to make a reservation. And we are going to be going over all of these features in our reservation list, such as add new guests, price lock, history of a reservation right here. Uh, of course, there's no history because I haven't made it yet. User notes, channel notes, adding extra cards, source inbound marketing. All of these will be discussed in a separate video for making a registration. So future reservations are always in this nice little color. This is uh, actually known to be the most common color so when you're checking people in and they're giving you a hard time you can just look at this color and relax. <laughs> so checked in colors are blue and this little blinking dot is telling you that they have a balance that is unpaid. So if you go in you this is actually party reservation you can see the extra rooms right here I can click on the little blue extra rooms and it'll pull up separate reservations for that. Again, we're going to go over making party reservations, how to make party reservations several different ways in a separate video. And again, we have the little history button. So now you can see that there's a lot of history that's been done. I can view each one, each change. So over here we have our housekeeping tab. Uh, we have housekeeping reports, housekeeper, whoops, went ahead and open it. Uh, we can email our housekeepers, we can have work orders uh, put up, you know, faucets broken, whatever. We can change the status of the, the rooms over here. Again, there's going to be another video in housekeeping. That looks just, let's change this all to clean. That's just going to bother me. All right. So, there's another video on housekeeping alone to tell you all the features about that. Uh, over here to the left, we have several reservations. Uh, say, for instance, you accidentally canceled a reservation and it disappears from the screen. And you're like, oh, I didn't mean to cancel it. So, you go into reservation list and you hit clear all filters and you can start using the search filters, whatever you could remember, to pull the reservation back up and 
uh, go ahead and put it back on the screen and then you'll see it pop back up so this is a these are nice filters to look for certain reservations um, you can search people that have been in your system before uh, and also the system has a memory so when you start typing in the last name I don't remember what hmm. all right I don't remember what I used for Bob's last name so I'm just gonna do test because I do a lot of test tests when I start typing in the T for the test it's going to pull up memory of my past reservation and everything will pull back up although I never use the test reservation for uh, filling out the address and so forth it'll still pull it up if I put that information before um, over here we can add reports ones that we want to the front desk uh, these are just fun transactions to let you know uh, what's going in and out of the system but let's go ahead and take a look in reports so we're going to go click on reports here this is going to show you the whole list of reports um, I choose I I like to recommend this report to be put on the main menu over here you're going to click on add to main menu this is actually house count I'm not going to do that um, but you would click on add to main menu and as you can see it says remove from main menu it's because I already added this report to my front desk the reason why I added this report to my front desk is because it will I'll be able to print out today's uh, check-ins check-outs arrivals stayovers so that way if I ever lose internet connection I still have a hard copy waiting for me over here we have a waiting list so if somebody is in uh, say for example I have this reservation and somebody else calls and says I have to have room 203 and I say well I've got a reservation but I can put you on the waiting list in case they cancel uh, then I just use this waiting list and it'll notify me if I cancel this reservation that I have another customer waiting over here we have uh, just basically some information that you can look at it's got the availability but we also have the availability listed here in the green areas you can see I have eight reservations available here nine here ten available here so you can always do a quick reference uh, you can also choose several rooms at once to make a either group block or group reservation but when you finish making the reservation you have to uncheck this Again, there's other videos to show you each and every feature and more detail. And right here we have another way of making party reservations and new reservations up here. We're going to go into basic overview of POS restaurant. You can create as many uh, tabs as you want. You can even change the name up here uh, to your personal store name. You can run tabs using this restaurant there's a video on how to do that as well this is your gift shop as you can see it's a completely different setup so uh, you can add as many features uh, as many products and transactions as you want here again there is a separate video on this as well this is just an overview over here we have messaging you can send other users who are in the system at the same time a quick little note it'll pop up on their screen so if I'm sending somebody else this message it'll pop up on their screen and then they can reply because the reply will be right there this is the close shift and the log out start shift day over here this is where your multi property switch will be listed if you have more than one property and you set up a multi property switch it'll be right here you can hide the room type show the room types collapse them if you have a lot of uh, room types hiding the room types or collapsing them let me go ahead and show room types and collapsing them 
and then just quickly searching for the room type that you're looking for is very helpful. Plus there will be a scroll button on the side if you have so many room types that they uh, continue down the screen. So we're going to take a quick look at admin. Over here we have our room types. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go in and we are going to map your room types, the ones that you created on your InConnect, and this is your mapping IDs. There's sort orders in these room types, so if you don't like single room being fourth, first on your PMS, you can say it's third, hit OK, go back, refresh, and then single room is going to be at the bottom. There you go. We have rooms over here, creating rooms and assigning them to separate room, rate, room types. This is where you're going to be doing your rates. I'm not going to be getting into this right now because there is going to be a separate video on how to set all your rates. You can create as many rates as you want, but the ones that are connected to InConnect are the ones that are going to show on your rates on InConnect, and you don't want to send more than one for one room type. For example, I wouldn't want to send this super special to the InConnect. That's set up se separately, and there's a video on how to do that as well. This is your tax list. You can create as many taxes as you want. And your rent add-ons, you can create as many rent add-ons. Your inbound marketing, track your, your advertising, your sources, your settings. This is where you're going to be uploading your property logo to be seen on your receipts where you're going to put your uh, night audit recipient's email that's sent out to you every night. And other information is where you'll be setting up your payment gateway, uh, SMTP settings for your emails to be sent out from the email that you choose. Linked accounts, this is your multi-property switch, channel manager credentials, and change credit card access password. This is important for when you're pulling up credit card information and this is also where you're going to be extending your trial and several other uh, this is for overseas not for the US I, I don't recommend clicking this button if you are located anywhere in the US because this is not for uh, your typical US hotels this is for our overseas hotels so there is a, another video on settings that goes more in, in depth Import reservations. This is for importing your reservations that were made in the past before you connected or before you started this system uh, that are for the future. So this is going to close out availability before you connect to channels. You want to import your reservations that were already made in the past for the future. Uh, so it closes out the availability because Ingenious is what's going to send to the channels the availability. So we have discount reasons and discount departments and pay types. You can also merge credit cards if you want. There's POS point, and what I mean by merge is sometimes you'll you'll get uh, Visa in and then Visa two in and just VI in and you can just merge them. As you go along. This is where you're going to be creating your POS uh, points and and setups and there's a there's a video on how to do that as well. The user interview uh, interface I, I really like the uh, touch friendly view if you're doing um, not tables but uh, tabs you can just put the names in instead of the instead of the uh, tables. This is where you're going to create all your users. You can create as many users and user levels as you want. And in the user levels, that's where you're going to get specific permissions right here and choose what permissions they can and can't have. This is going to be your shift lists over here. You can create as many shift lists as you want. Your email templates. This is where you're going to set up automatic emails. Again, there's a 
video for this that that goes over it quite quite well so your email rules you can set up as many email rules and email rules is going to tell your system when to send out the email is it going to be their birthday is it going to be three days before their birthday is it going to be two days before they check in for a confirmation you can set up all those rules here and here is our support button so this is going to take you to basically uh, a manual for the system and you can always join us on YouTube as well where we have over 60 training videos and we'll let you know exactly how to do everything on the system one by one so if you have any questions at all you can email us at support at ingeniouspms.com and we will be happy to answer any of your questions thank you